And there it is, my best piece of gear from Content on the Light Trail. And which one is yours? Tell me now in the comments. So, a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is, in my opinion, one of the most important parts of hiking and camping experience. I mean, gear-wise, right? So, if you want to have a good sleep, you have to have a good sleeping bag. And good sleep rises your overall experience in the wilderness. And that is really important. So, this bag has a basic feature that I love and that is basically down, goose down uh, feathers and I prefer goose down uh, sleeping bag more than uh, synthetic ones. It's uh, much more difficult to maintain but overall more warmth, less weight and more comfortable. Unless you're allergic to feathers, that's not good. Don't do it if you're allergic. Second thing, warmth to weight ratio is really outstanding. So now I will do a reading a little bit. So, you know, I will not watch you in the eyes. <laughs> Sorry for that. With only 970 grams, which is two pounds, it has minus six degrees Celsius comfort zone, that's 21.2 Fahrenheit. That's excellent, right? And that's the comfort zone. The limit zone is minus 13 Celsius or 8.6 Fahrenheit, which is amazing. I was camping just below 114 year in Colorado. The name of the peak is St. Louis Peak and it was freezing. In the same time, it was wonderful, but when the sun went down behind the mountains, right? At the moment, the temperature dropped sharply and I knew I was in for a cold night. I guess it was minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 Fahrenheit, something like that. The cold woke me up and in addition, I had to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. So they say it's not good to hold your urine inside your body because uh, warming of this liquid inside of you is burning calories. So it's a good thing, you know, to go out and to do your, uh, you know, me, kinch. So I didn't like the idea of going outside, but when I did, you know, get out and when I was like watching out, in the sky, there were like trillions of stars. It was beautiful. So it was like, oh my God, what's happening here? Yeah, it's always amazing to see so many stars. So when I got back to my tent, I knew that I need to change my dressing tactics, you know, what, what to wear. So I, I took off all of my, you know, uh, pajamas, whatever I had, and then I put all my, all of my base layers and then pajamas, and then, you know, some other clean clothes. And in addition, I wrapped my feather jacket, the down jacket, around my waist, which is really important for my butt to be warm. And basically in matter, and then I, you know, got back into my sleeping bag and in matter of 10, 15 minutes, I was so cozy, so warm. So I just continued to sleep, although it was super cold. That was the coldest night on the Continental Divide Trail for me. Colorado, yeah, crazy weather. So next cool thing about this sleeping bag, uh, that, uh, when you are buying it, it's fully customizable. customizable. Customizable, yeah. When I was buying it, I went on a website and I put uh, more down in my foot box because I'm a cold sleeper or a warm sleeper. I like to be warm when I'm sleepy. So I put extra down in my foot box so my feet remain more warm during the night. That's so important for me. 
And yeah, they nailed it. The foot box is so dense with, with the down and so warm. The next thing I ordered a water repellent fabric on my foot box because when I'm sleeping, uh, the tent sometimes get condensed and the water <clears throat> from the, you know, tent holes usually touches my foot box of my sleeping bag. So I ordered fabric that is water repellent and now when it gets wet, the feathers are not wet, although they're hydrophobic. So, you know, it's a good thing for me. That's my preference. I mean, everybody has their own preference, right? Next thing, great zipper. Check it out. Oh. It's really good. It slides amazing. And it gets stuck really, really rarely. So I love it. And another thing, as you can see, this is the sleeping bag and the zipper is on the right side because I'm a left handed. And when I am zipping it, I need my left hand. I mean, I could do it with my right because you know, everything's produced for right hand people, but not in cumulus. Cumulus ask me, do you want left or right? And I said, give me on the right side so I can unzip it with my left. Yes, amazing feature. I love it. Love it. So materials on this sleeping bag are top notch. They're super resistant. I was sleeping in a new, new Mexico desert for, I don't know, 40 nights or so. And I don't have single tear, 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 tear. I would say single tier on my sleeping bag is zero built and the materials are uh, super lightweight. There is some name to it. It's called Pertex Quantum Custom Made. So yeah, it's Pertex. It, basically, the material is the same material top manufacturers from the United States, uh, States are using. So good quality also. Next thing I like. Uh, with this bag is core. So inside around your neck, you can put your core around when it's really cold and it has this Velcro. You just stick it and you have a little, I don't know, tightener. You could tighten it all the way around your neck. This is good because I turn around a lot in the night. I'm, I'm a restless sleeper. So when I'm turning around, the cold air goes inside my sleeping bag. And here with this sleeping bag bag, this is not the case. I just, you know, tighten the collar. And when I'm turning around, uh, you know, I'm good. The cold air is not going into my sleeping bag. So thumbs up for that. Love it. Next thing, colors. Mine is red. I love it. And inside, black. I took the black inside because of the dirt. I don't want the dirt to, you know, to be visible so much, but it's clean. I like to keep my sleeping bag clean. I'm sleeping always with my long johns and my uh, long shirt and uh, with my socks on, clean socks on, on me. So it's clean, you know, but it's a great thing that you can order and customize your sleeping bag. So it could be blue, red, yellow, I don't know, there's orange, you know, a lot of colors that you can choose from uh, either outside or inside. I think that's good. Everybody loves customization, right? And then the sympathy, the ecological part of cumulus is, I will read this. It says, we are absolutely sure down used by cumulus has been ethically sourced. And last, but certainly not least, is this. So guys from cumulus, 
suit my uh, logo and my name and my blood type on the sleeping bag. So it's Tesla Creative, Nikola Horvat, A+. Plus. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And everybody was jealous, like, whoa, where did you get that? And I was like, well, it's Europe. You will not get it anytime soon here in the United States because this is cumulus. I love it. It's customized and my name is on it. Nobody can steal it because, you know, you cannot have Nikola Horvat sleeping bag with you. And the other thing, I was, you know, heavily jealous of whatever you say it. So this bag arrivals all top manufacturers uh, from the, you know, around the world regarding sleeping bags. It's an amazing sleeping bag. They made a great impression on me and the customer service is excellent. For Europeans who are going on uh, some long distance trails or hiking or camping and they need sleeping bag, this is great opportunity because this is quality just like American manufacturers. You know, weight, warmth ratio, same thing. But this one is manufactured in Europe, so you don't have to pay shipping costs and you don't have to pay tax. And that's really important. You can save up to, I don't know, $100, $200, euros, whatever. So it's a, it's a great deal for Europeans. So as things stand, I will not change the manufacturer of my sleeping bag for some time now because this is, first of all, durable. And second of, second of all, I love it. So even when this one gets destroyed, I will definitely go for Cumulus again. Good sleeping bag, tested on Continental Divide Trail, and I love it. So uh, for the end, this is not a sponsored video. Definitely not. I didn't get any money from Cumulus to say this. I really love this product. They did give me the sleeping bag for free. But nevertheless, I love it and I, I was using it on this really tough two hike Continental Divide Trail and it survived, the feathers, are, the down is still good, everything's like a new, I mean, look at it, looks amazing still, right? And the shape and everything, so yeah, not sponsored. I just love the product and I think this is the best piece of gear I had on my Continental Divide Trail adventure. And what's yours? What's your top number one piece of gear you own? Please write it in the comments. So until next time, see you. Bye.